this last week with the holidays now over, but it's still being super cold winter, I wanted to cast on the coziest thing I could think of. And I've had plans to do this for a while. It is a Sophie shawl, but instead of the recommended yarn, it is knit with two strands of Drops Alpaca Boucle. I've noticed a few patterns with this Teddy Fleece fabric that you get from Knitting with Boucle uh, on the Hot Right Now in Ravelry, and that sent me down a rabbit hole of looking at other <laughs> Teddy Fleece style patterns knit with Boucle yarn. And I wanted to share eight of those patterns with you today. And then at the end, I am going to share five tips that I have for knitting with Boucle yarn, just from knitting this much of my <laughs> little Sophie shawl. Um, it turns out it is a little bit more complicated or a little bit more finicky than you would expect. And so I do actually plan to frog this and restart it in a slightly different way. And I will get to that at the end of the video. So I am going to jump into the patterns that I want to share with you today. For these patterns, three of them are for uh, kids and babies, and five of them are for adults. So I have a bit of a mix and I'm just going to go through them in the order that they showed up in my bundle of favorites that I made in Ravelry. So no rhyme or reason to this order, uh, but I will just get started. So this first one is uh, called Sleepy Bjorn by Heidi Bang, and it is a bear uh, lovey style stuffed animal. So if you're not familiar with a lovey, it's like a tiny blanket mixed with a stuffed animal. So usually the construction is flat. And you can see that it's just this adorable little flat stuffed bear. And um, this is knit with one strand of Drops Alpaca Boucle, which is the same yarn that I'm using here, and one strand of uh, Sandisk Garn Petite Knit Double Sunday. That is going to be a recurring theme through these patterns that um, the boucle is held with another type of yarn. The pattern's available in English and Norwegian, and it's going to use not very much yarn. This one you can make with just one ball of the Drops Alpaca Boucle, and I think one ball of the Double Sunday. Uh, and it also says that you could substitute Drops Air for the Alpaca Boucle, which will give less of a teddy look, but it'll still be like lofty and a little bit fuzzy. Moving on to the second pattern, this is the Cardigan Dolly by Mochi Knits. And I like this because it was just a really classic looking cardigan. It looks very refined and has some just beautiful finishing details. I love the little buttons on it. And the cuffs and the button band are knit in not boucle yarn. <laughs> so it gives a nice contrast between the teddy fleece uh, look of the cardigan and then the little finishing edges. It's a three quarter length sleeve and it's finished with an I-cord bind off, which is just a, a nice little touch there. So this one is also knit in Drops Alpaca Boucle as well as Drops Lima, which is used for the button band and cuffs. And the yarns are held together in the body of the sweater. So the bust measurements, um, you can go anywhere from 32.25 inches to 49.5 inches. And it is designed to have around six inches of positive ease. So I think that that would be a great staple cardigan in your wardrobe. Next, I'm going to share the Permafrost sweater by Winter Design. And this sweater is another three quarter length sleeve. I don't know why I seem to like that style <laughs> in these really fuzzy patterns, but it also has a beautiful wide mock neck. Uh, maybe there's a specific term for that 
kind of a neck, but it, I love that it stands up, but it's a little bit off the neck um, and wide towards the shoulders. So this one is again going to hold drops, a pack of boucle. <laughs> it's a popular boucle, it would seem, with Rauma Finilgarn, which is a light fingering weight yarn. This is a bottom up sweater and it's definitely very has a lot of positive ease the bust is only in centimeters which i'm not <laughs> super familiar with but it looks like they go for range from 99 centimeters to 138 centimeters it's giving a 20 to 25 centimeter positive ease for the recommended ease next up i will share the polar coat and this you can see it comes in a junior size pattern and a mini size pattern so i'll just go ahead and show the mini size because baby mitts are cutest when they're tiny and this one is uh, designed by nash knits and the yarn for this uh, is going to be again drops alpaca boucle held with drops soft tweed you can get sizes three to six months is the smallest size up to size three to four years and then for the junior version that is going to come in sizes starting with four to five years old up to 12 to 14 years old so uh, if you get both of these patterns you could knit your child a fuzzy coat from their as soon as they're born to 14 years old so that is great news because that is just the most beautiful refined looking teddy fleece style garment I think I'm, I have ever seen both knit and store bought. <laughs> I love the the contrast of the really soft texture of this knit with the refined details and finishing. You can see all of the edges are beautifully finished. It looks like they're double folded. And we've got either applied eye cord or eye cord bind off, I'm not sure, all the way around the collar and the button band. Gorgeous. Okay, next up is the Samel sweater. This is by Ro uh, Ronia Hakaleto. I am positive I did not pronounce that correctly, so I apologize. Uh, and this uh, is a zip up pullover. And you can see. Honestly, this sample in the pictures here looks like a store-bought item to me. If I saw this in the wild, I would not be able to tell you that this was a hand-knit <laughs> object, um, which I think can be fun. Uh, it's also great to know that stuff is hand-knit, but well, when you get just that like level of perfection that you can't even tell, I think that's so cool. This is a nice oversized sweater and the bottom ribbing and the cuff ribbing is done in a knot uh, boucle yarn. So it gives that really nice contrast between the body of the sweater and that ribbing. And this one is going to hold uh, Filcolana Arweta and Capard Garn Teddy Deer. I actually don't know if they're held together or if the Teddy Deer is used for the body and the Filcolana is used for the cuff and ribbing, but both are used in the pattern. The bust circumference is going to be anywhere from 37.75 inches up to 67 inches. And recommended ease for the pattern is just around like nine inches of positive ease. It looks like you just use that Gepard Teddy Deer yarn for the body. And then the Filcolana Arweta is used for the ribbing hem and cuffs. So definitely would be a staple piece in my wardrobe. That would be like the coziest sweater ever. <laughs> Next, I will share the Teddy Mittens. And this is by Anna and Heidi Pickles. So this is a kid's pattern and it just looks like a super basic mitten, but knit with boucle yarn to give that super cute Teddy look. So the suggested yarn for this pattern is Pickles Teddy, and uh, yeah. Oh, it comes in, uh, sorry, it, 
it's an a kids and adult pattern so it's a junior and then also small through large so scratch everything that I said about before so you can knit it for kids and for adults um not much more to say about that super cool basic mitten pattern next we have bananas by Pina Candio and this is a crossbody or a fanny pack bag so you've probably seen the Teddy Clutch by Petite Knit. I thought that this was a, a fun, different style of bag to make in this super cozy yarn. Um, they have this really awesome, uh, looks like Igitange lining for the bag. But yeah, I just thought probably a crossbody or fanny pack style bag is going to be a little bit more versatile than the clutch and everyone's already seen the clutch so <laughs> might as well share a different pattern oh look at all the cute linings in the sky oh i love it this pattern holds gepard garn teddy deer with gepard garn kid seta or wild and soft or maybe it uses all three oh that was good <laughs> I'm looking at this, it's all in Spanish, and I was like, oh no, am I sharing an only Spanish pattern? But no, it looks like it's available in English as well. And it also comes in four sizes, which is so cool. Um, mini, kid, uh, mid, and big. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but it looks like it's knit in garter stitch. And then you would sew in the lining and the zipper and strap at the end. Okay, and then the last one I want to share is one that uses the boucle yarn in a more uh, sparing way, <laughs> which I'm going to be giving my tips in a second, and I'm going to let you know knitting with boucle is not that easy. <laughs> so if you want sort of that look of the boucle, but you don't want to knit an entire garment, out of it, I would definitely recommend this one. So this is the Mellow Vest by Irene Lynn. And you can see it's um, mostly knit in a different yarn and then knit just some little details in the boucle. And I think it's a really interesting take on like a shearling vest almost. So instead of buying a shearling vest, if you want that look, you could knit this little open vest pattern. I think it's so cool. Look at all of these pictures. Wow, that's awesome. The yarn used for this one is going to be Gepard Garn Teddy Deer again. And then the other yarn that's used for most of the pattern is Camaro's Snefnung. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I think so. <laughs> And the uh, finished bust circumference is anywhere between 40.5 inches and 60.25 inches. And you, it's a bulky knit. So uh, you use the, the bulky, the Camaro's Snefna <laughs> yarn with two strands held together. So that's going to knit up really, really quick. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, just the little details in that boucle yarn. So this one might make it on my queue, especially since I, I think I'm going to have a little bit of extra of this um, alpaca boucle. So those were the patterns that I wanted to share. I hope you found something in there that you hadn't seen before. And now I'm going to give some tips uh, in case you do decide to knit those patterns or like me, knit a Teddy Fleece Sophie scarf. The first thing I'm going to say, and you might have seen uh, a lot of the designers do this in the patterns that I shared, is to not knit boucle yarn held single or held with itself hold a boucle yarn with another yarn. So I'm going to try to show you what a, a strand, I guess I'm holding two strands here. I'm going to show you what a strand of boucle yarn looks like. So it's got all of these little loopy loops all on a single strand that is 
like really like a lace weight if it was just on its own, but then all the loopies make it nice and fluffy and big. So if you look at my knitting here, <laughs> you can see on like on the stitches on the needles, you can see that you can't see <laughs> anything. <laughs> it's really hard to look at. So I think the reason why a lot of designers are using another yarn to hold with their boucle is just to give the stitches some definition and something for your needles to hold on to. The other interesting thing, um, knitting this up in just two strands of the boucle is if you look at it, it looks like a little net, almost like I'm knitting with um, one or two strands of mohair with a, a large needle. It's giving that like big stitch net texture, which I think would be fine if I continued like this, but also it'd be nice to give the fabric a little bit more substance. So I am actually going to frog my progress so far and I've ordered some drops soft tweed yarn that I'm going to hold with one strand of the um, alpaca boucle. And I think that's going to give me a more satisfying knit with a little bit more substance and make it easier to uh, for my needles to hold on to something. The second tip that I will give is to choose a simple pattern <laughs> because you are not going to be able to see what you are doing at all. I showed you the stitches on the needle. Um, it's really hard to tell them apart from each other. It's hard to see like where you've made any increases and decreases. With the Sophie Shaw pattern, you decrease or increase every few rows and if I was trying to read my work here like you cannot tell which row has the increase on it you would not be able to tell if you made a mistake and like we're trying to go back so definitely choose a simple pattern because your mistakes are going to be hard to see next is to use blunt needles so this is not the yarn to use your like Haya Haya Sharps your Chow Gu anything like that I just had these random size five millimeter needles and they've got really blunt tips. Um, and so that I lucked out on that, but if you're gonna use sharp needles, it's gonna get in every one of these little loops and catch and you're gonna have to mess with your stitches, maybe break some of the loops and it's just not gonna be fun. So use your the bluntest needles you have to knit with boucle. Uh, tip number four, is that stitch markers and row counters are gonna be your friends. You can see I've got my my um, stitch uh, marker here. This is where it's showing me where I'm gonna need to increase and decrease. And then this one is just showing me where that I-cord edge is on the Sophie shawl because honestly, these three um, stitches blend together and I can't tell when I'm knitting across the row if I have two left if I have four left so I need that stitch marker to show me okay now there's three left on the needle I also I took this off to, to show but I had attached on here a little row counter because you are not going to be able to see the rows that you have knit you need to use a row counter or you're gonna get lost in your pattern it is next to impossible to read knitting in boucle yarn. And then the last tip I'll give is more of a recommendation. If you are a new knitter, I would not recommend knitting with boucle for all of the reasons I just said. It is going to be really hard to see your stitches, hard to see your mistakes, and I think you'll get really frustrated and it just won't be worth it. So Revisit boucle after you have a few projects under your belt. You're feeling more confident about your knitting and yeah, those boucle patterns will be waiting for you at the, at, once you have skilled up a little bit. So I hope you found something useful in this, either a new pattern you want to knit or maybe some um, hot takes on <laughs> knitting with boucle. If you found something helpful, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment which pattern you'd like to knit, or maybe there's another boucle pattern that I missed that's on your radar. And yeah, I will catch you next time. Bye.